don't know what to build or code? If you're a beginner, start building your own portfolio website if you haven't already. Don't worry about not having any projects yet. Just start building. You can use standard HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or any other framework that you'd like. So when I started, I actually built a website for my friend's photography business. He really liked it, and I added it to my personal portfolio, and I started building all these other different little projects. You can also look into freelancing. You can start reaching out to local companies, businesses, or just simply people that you know. Ask them, hey, do you need a website for your business, your side gig, whatever? Maybe their company needs one, or maybe they have one, but it's not the greatest. You can make it better. You can upgrade it. If you have big aspirations to build great, amazing things, that's great. Maybe it's an app that will be used by millions of people. Maybe it's the next Facebook or even Microsoft, whatever. I wanted to build something similar to Baymax for my parents. If you guys have ever seen Big Hero 6, then you guys know what I'm talking about. But here's my advice on it. Don't. At least not yet. Now hear me out. Start smaller in your backyard. Too many people say they're going to do this, they're going to do that, they're going to build this amazing thing, but they never take off. For example, so when I wanted to build all kinds of things like Baymax, right, eventually, you know, my parents are going to get old, and I want something like Baymax to take care of them. I also thought about making a children's educational app, you know, I had all these different ideas, and eventually I probably will get to them, but to prevent myself from starting something that I probably won't finish, I gotta stay small and not dream too big. Since I'm in the military, I can build a veterans app. It's just an example because there's already tons of veterans app, but a veteran app is familiar to me since I have a military background and I understand all the pain points, the struggles, all of it. So. My take on it is stick to what you're familiar with, stay in your own backyard, keep it small and build from there. It's much easier to take off with and compound over time than dreaming way too big and never finishing the project. You can find a problem in your local community, your workplace, whatever it is, and build a solution for it. This is much more attainable and it's also very rewarding. You can also find interesting projects online, on YouTube, watch other people code, look on GitHub, the internet is full of resources. And you can literally copy and paste the code, but tweak the code to your liking and your preferences. Then you can add it to your portfolio. Software development is basically professional plagiarism, but everyone is cool with it. So find ideas and inspiration online and go from there. Thank you for your time.